My name is Gala Bell and I'm a London-based multidisciplinary artist. Alchemy is at the centre of my practice. I'm excited by the experience of materials and how they can transform and embody new concepts, switching between hierarchies. For me, both the kitchen and the studio are a lab of material transformation, swapping roles between traditional craftsmanship and it's at times quite absurd labour. There are moments when the process completely takes over from the starting point, but those long lengths of time really produce something that I never could have envisaged. Through my practice, I explore concepts of value and taste, particularly with the sugar and the deep fried works. I try to relieve the concept of art as something that's elitist. I want to see it without the burden of art history and I don't want to package it as a commodity. I feel that there's this huge tension for painters between the creation of something that is a commodity, a thing to be sold, and the experience of making. It's a sacrifice. Art is a personal ritual that we offer up to be a part of the collective. My name is Huyen Ying. I'm a painter and I'm based in both South Korea and Hong Kong. In my practice, I have been using ink on Korean traditional paper and silk. I have chosen this medium because I have studied Korean traditional painting and I had work as a researcher regarding cultural heritages. During this time, I was able to observe the traditional paintings closely and was able to witness the power of the brush strokes and the exquisiteness of the artworks. I wanted to incorporate the delicacy of the traditional medium and techniques in my paintings. I believe that the delicacy of the technique enhances the beauty of my artwork and empowers the underlying messages. However, I'm still looking for ways to incorporate new expressions and push the boundaries of the traditional medium. My works focus on humanity, particularly about life and death, gravitating toward the unavoidable fate human beings are facing. Humans have been endlessly endeavoring to overcome death and its finite lives. The fear of death had led to the formation of myth and superstitions which aim to serve the humanistic desire of immortality. I would like to question what has made people create such mythical beliefs and reveal the futileness of the desire longing for immortality. <laughs> I'm based in Northwest London. My inspiration comes from things that I encounter in the everyday life, also like some archival things and the strong light and shadow when I feel like that creates a portal for my mind. I would like to explore different materials and memory and imagination, real landscapes and then also the internal landscapes that we carry. I mainly use the photographic medium because it has a strong connection to memory but the dark room practice in particular it's really interesting because that is where I can take the things from the outside and start exploring using the different aspects of the dark room to try to connect it to my internal world. Some days I just run the tests, other times I print an experiment. <laughs> My name is Charles Ng. I'm a painter and I live on the Isle of Wight.
I was born in the Midlands and then went to art school at the Ruskin School of Fine Art at Oxford. I then had a place at the Royal College of Art, but life got in the way, so I got a job instead. And then I worked there for 30 years, and on my 50th birthday, I quit to become the painter that I'd always intended to be. I live on the beautiful Isle of Wight, and I'm surrounded by nature, and that is my main inspiration. So every day I walk for two to three hours, and I can't help but absorb the natural world around me. So whether that's organic forms or the changing of the seasons, the tides, the history of the landscape, it all seems to seep into my work somehow. I think of painting as like a metaphor for life, in that there are some things you can control and some things you can't, and obviously chance plays a big part in that. So I try and include chance into my painting. I like to throw my painting into chaos and then try and find some order and keep repeating that process, building up a sort of history. So at the end, I hope my paintings are a sort of celebration of life, possibly tinged with a bit of sadness, but I do try and find the beauty in the chaos. <laughs> Thank you.